Prime Marks, Joe here, and today I want to go over something that is not seeming to be very common knowledge. By saying that, I thought it would be more open, but I guess not too many people because maybe it hasn't been explained very well, or maybe you're new to 8th edition, or maybe you just didn't know about it in general. Well, I'm going to open your eyes today if you haven't got this knowledge of how many relics can you have in a 2000 point list. Now, this is a 2000 point Battle Forge list, a legal list for a tournament. Now, some tournaments may have restrictions for this, but I have been to lots and I haven't seen too many that do. So, with that being said, how many relics do you think can be in a 2000 point list? And if you're saying three in your head, well, you are wrong. Three would seem like the obvious because you get your Warlord gets one for free. That has to be your Warlord army. So, let's pretend we have three attachments. Three attachments is the maximum detachments you can have in a 2000 point list legally. Let's say you have Knights, Imperial Guard, and Custodians, and that's your army. And you want to make your Imperial Guard the Warlord because you want to be farming those command points. So that guy gets one free Relic. So you give him the Relic, you have the access to buy two more in the Stratagem book. Now remember, you only when you make your list for a tournament, you only have to put the Warlord Relic because that's one you got for free. When you start a game, before the game starts, there are stratagems, which you can spend the points before the game starts where you don't have to list it. You can spend those points and buy those. So if you want a two more Imperial Guard relics, you can pay the stratagem. It's either one command point for one or three for two. And you can do this for each, each army. So I spend, I want two more Imperial Guard relics for some reason, and I want to get two knight relics so I can give my knights some super relics and I want to give my uh, custodian some relics too so you could have you could just give one relic to each one that would cost you one one and that's not bad but let's say you wanted to go max relics and the max relic answer is seven you can never have more than seven in a battle for your list because you just can only have the strategy allows you either one or two not three one or two so the main army can have three and then two and two seven pretty common math so, this is very important because there are some really awesome relics. And you might not be taking them just because you didn't think you could. Because you didn't think you were allowed because it wasn't your main list. But you can. And that's awesome. So, again, you might be playing a list where you're like, eh, I really don't need that relic. I'm going to save the command points here. I'm not going to buy it. But maybe you're going against a list that that relic would really make a difference. So, you can buy it. And the opponent never had it on his list. So, he really couldn't know and couldn't plan for it. And now you have it. So, this is a little quick video because I really, like I said, I've noticed a lot of things in the forums. I've noticed a lot of things on just generic searches and questions that people have asked me, patrons have asked me, and people are just have not known how many relics they can have. So I want to give this information to you because, you know, I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I appreciate you, you know, subscribing, hitting the thumbs up. All that stuff means a lot to me and I want to show my appreciation back to give you guys a little more fighting uh, chances in your lists. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and more videos to come.